Guys, we have a lot of things trending right now on social media. A rumor has it that uh, Davido is going to be on, uh, you know, Gogon Gogon Gos remix, and a lot of people are really excited about that. It's just a rumor that is flying around on Twitter right now. Some people are responding to that rumor, but I want to imagine Davido on that track. What is your own feeling about Davido jumping on that track? Do you think Davido should be the right person? But some people are already spotting the lights of flavor to say these guys should do a remix on that song the likes of fino and a lot of Igbo artists but what do you think about the video because the video got a special you know kind of influence that can you know push the song to the world out there that is what a lot of persons are talking about but do you think uh this person or the owner that is mike ejeha can really afford the services of Davido, but what of if Davido does it for free? That is another question we need to really answer about this whole thing. What is your own take about the whole story? I want you to put that in the comment section. Imagine Davido being on that track. I want you to also put that in the comment section so that you can have a taste of it. Yes, in a viral video right now, the original Ruga, our own Nigerian Ruga, met with fake Ruga from Kenya. Man, it was really amazing, interesting uh, day for a lot of people because me, when I watched the video, I was a bit confused because I didn't know the original Ruga from the fake Ruga. That is what a lot of persons are really talking about right now, trending out on social media. What is your own take about all these kind of things i want you to put that in the comment section this is to know that to understand niger music industry is pulling off a kind of um you know influence in african music and we have to acknowledge that at a particular level that is something i can really see about all of this what is your own take let's catch a glimpse of that happening on social media <laughs> Guys, what is your own take about all of this? Do you think uh, the impersonation is too much? <laughs> this guy can double up for a person of Ruga. That is something I believe. I be the Ophi, you know, walk things around and make this guy a, a double body for Ruga. <laughs> this is all interesting. This is an influence of Ruga to show you that a lot of people across the world, they still appreciate the works of Ruga to an extent. And that is something I love about this artist for rapping Nigeria so hard to the world. Rapper Fino is really, really a good and a kind person. That is what somebody is saying. According to QT Juice, a particular blog, they said Fino has to bail a person of uh, Judo Koye from the EFCC's custody. And Fino served as a shorty and brought one of his friends also as a shorty, uh, depositing his lands and uh, some of his uh, landed property for Judo Jude Okoye. When Jude Okoye was picked up by the EFCC, according to reports, they said nobody could stand in for Jude Okoye. But of course, you know that Root Boy cannot stand in for Jude Okoye because he is really a brother to Jude Okoye to understand. You know, there are some things you need to actually understand about the whole thing. But the likes of Fino actually came in for Jude Okoye and stood in for him. And that a lot of people are really celebrating. But remember that a person of uh, Root Boy, that is uh, Paul Okoye, has come out to say uh, their brother, Mr. P, actually reported him. And also, of course, Jude was reported to the EFCC. Right now, uh, a person of uh, Root Boy was cleared by the EFCC, but Jude has some questions to answer and he needed somebody that will stand him for bail. And that is something that actually went into the social media uh through uh qt juice right now and they said fino was able to come to the rescue of jude what is your own take about that this fight between the brothers of uh, the okoyes that is the p square and their other brother is really getting out of hand you know somebody reporting one's brother to the efcc to be taken down by the efcc in the government that 
is really a height of heat. That is something I kind of understand about this whole thing. I think they should have found a way to work this out within the family without the public knowing about it. No family will not get issues, so, but they should continually find a way to work things out. That is something I keep saying about all of this. What is your own take about this kind of things? I want you to put that in the comment section so that you can talk about it further because a lot of people are already coming out to blame out a person of Mr. P for reporting his brothers to the EFCC according to what uh, Root Boy revealed at a recent interview. What are your own takes about this kind of story? I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. We got a lot of interesting stories. Right now, I want to ask a question. What influence uh, does Tiwa Savage uh, have on you as a female person or teenage living in Nigeria especially. I want you to put that in the comment section because a lot of people are coming out to say she is really, really influencing the younger generation, you know, uh, negatively. And that is something a lot of people are coming out with some kind of criticism. Somebody who could defend an ST of us on social media in a music that a lot of people are really getting concerned about. You know, watching uh, some of the videos of Tiwa Savage lately, you will get to understand that, man, she has a level of influence and that is what some people are now knocking off on social media. Saying that Tiwa Savage, you are a mom. You should act like one. That is what many people are saying about all of this. I want you to put that in the comment section so that you can talk about it further. David O will be performing at Worry again and a lot of people are really responding on that and that is a big story trending now on social media. Remember that David o and Ama Jupinik had an issue where David o called out Ama Jupinik after Ama Jupinik called out David o for not showing up after collecting 96 or $94,000 and with a private jet and the rest. But right now, they are able to squash the issue and it's all standing at the time and some people are really excited about that. On 5th of October, David will be performing at Worry again and it's going to be all exciting at the end of the day. What are your own takes about this kind of story? I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.